Hi there YouTubers, uh, I want to talk to you about uh, some sinus problems that I had. I had like years, I'm talking oh, 18, 20 years, couldn't breathe through my nose and I was in the military, they were feeding me all kinds of drugs so that I could still be a soldier and uh, you know be around tree pollen and all that stuff. So when I got out of the military I just stopped taking their drugs and I decided to find a way to naturally get rid of all these problems that I had. And, and that's a different story, but I wanted to get rid of the symptoms. To get rid of the stuffed up nose, I have a video on that. It's about how I went to Saudi Arabia and uh, cured myself of all these allergies. But anyway, I wanted to get relief, and I hate using um, other products, uh, the D word wants to come to mind, but you spray it up your nose and you get hooked. And I don't like this being hooked to anything. So that's why I quit coffee, I drink and pop, I just don't do anymore. I don't like addictions. So I wanted some relief from my stuffy nose. So what I did was I went online and I looked around and I found that um, people were saying that hydrogen peroxide works great if you can get up your nose. So at first, my wife got a big kick out of this, is I would mix the hydrogen peroxide and then I would use like a neti pot or something, I would pour it into my nose and I would just dance around the room screaming, oh my god, oh the pain, it was agony. So <laughs> anyway, so what I, what I did is I went to every drugstore I could trying to find a, sp a spray bottle, a nasal spray bottle like this one, and you just squeeze it and it sprays up into the your nasal passageways and your sinuses and everything else. Well, you can't get them anywhere. Big surprise. And tried using the other sprays, empty them out, but you can't get the top off them. You can't reuse them. So I went on eBay, trusty eBay, and I bought me three of these bottles. And they come apart and you have a hose in there and it just goes right down deep inside. So it's no big deal. And uh, I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to get rid of this because it's like uh, I don't trust it anymore. It's like a year old. So you didn't have to see me cleaning this. But uh, what I did was um, I emptied it all out and I used distilled water and rinsed it all out. And then I ran the distilled water through the, the nozzle and I see my hose is still full of distilled water. I'm just going to empty this. There we go. So now it's totally like I would get it brand new. So here's how I mix it. What you want to mix it is 1.5%. Now this crap that you buy in the store, you could probably use that. We don't use it for anything except getting blood stains out of the carpet. Because our dog, uh, she's not fixed, so when she's getting into that time of the month, she lets us know by bleeding on our beige carpets. So what we do is we make our own. I have a video on that, on how to mix your own 3% hydrogen peroxide. So what I do is I take a bottle like this. I want to fill, because I want this to be half the percentage of the store-bought stuff, which I think you can spray up your nose, but we stay away from it. Um, my nice, friendly 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide spray bottle right here, which I use on my teeth. I have a video for that. So we're going to take this bottle and we're going to fill it because I don't know how big the bottle is. Right, so I'm just going to try to keep this as simple as I can. I'm going to fill it and this is a syringe that we have cleaned many, many times and use it for lots of things. And this syringe comes from uh, when you fill up your own ink cartridges for your inkjet printer. This is what that syringe is for. So we clean it all out and it works fine. So what I do is I, I take this water and I'll put like a extreme amount of water and I'll fill this up. Right, and I'll try to figure out how much is in there by filling this up. So, okay, so it's about, it's almost full. But we don't really need it full. So I'm just going to take out of here whatever I can. Let's say I take this up to, okay, let's say 10. Yeah, that's going to be a lot. See, it's all it's empty now. Okay, so 
I take this up, and this is why I love this, because you can do, and I have a video on this too, easy way to mix different percentages. So there I loaded this up to 10, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt it into the bottle, and that gets me underneath half of the bottle. So now take your 3% hydrogen peroxide, and we're going to fill this up until it says 10. Right up to 10. There you go. So now we've got like a 50-50 mix. So he's right up to 10. So we're just going to squirt that in there. There we go. And it's mixed it up thoroughly. And then we stick the hose back in here. Close this up. And you'll see that, there we go, we have a mister. So now, if I wanted to take this and put it up my nose, you have to be aware that, especially if your sinuses are infected and stuff. I just finished this, the camera problems again. So I sprayed up my nose, twice inhaling, inhaling, and uh, it's gonna sting for a little while, but it's, all, it's over now. So I'm just feeling a little bit of leftover stuff. So anyway, that's how you do it. To mix 1.5% hydrogen peroxide in a spray bottle for your nose from the 3%. Now you can get the store stuff and it'll work too, but we try to make our own so it's, it's like this is full of chemicals and stuff. Still camera problems. Anyway, I just wanna say bye for now. I hope this helps. And don't forget, subscribe and like.